Here's how to make color bass. Bass track. Carry that into a vocoder. Layered in with sparkle rack. And all together that sounds like... Wait, you want me to explain this in detail to you? You mean this isn't TikTok and I have more than seven seconds to do it? Fantastic. Thank you for clicking on this video because today I'm going to show you step by step how to make color base like this and also how to customize it to fit whatever it is you're working on right now. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling the rushdown style color base. Let's go. For this song, my BPM is set to 150. So step one, we're going to make this bass rack. First of all, we need a bass sound. There's tons of ways to get this, but for this video, I use used serum. You can use a sample pack like you'd find on Splice. Shout out NASCO. Um, actually, samples are cheating. No, we went over this already. Not today. Feel free to make the sound yourself or use a sample. I promise you, your real fans, they're not going to care how you made it. You want to find a sound that is stabby and whooshy since we're going to vocode this. Next, you want to process it, and uh, I'm going to use Wombo Combo to do that, and thicken it up. If you want to know what Wombo Combo is, it is just OTT and Saturator, and the macro knob is just turning the Saturator up. I like to keep things Kingdom Hearts simple and clean, and just have my one knob version. There's an EQ here as well, but I'll show you how to set that up in just a second. Hey, it's me, Record Exec Randy, ready to reel you in with a record deal that you definitely won't regret. Hang on a minute, it's 2022 and more and more artists are releasing independently instead of signing awful record label deals. This is why I've partnered up with DistroKid since they allow you full control over your masters, your artwork, and allows you to upload to streaming services without the need of middlemen like record label Randy over here. And with all of DistroKid's marketing tools like Hyperfollow and promo cards, you can reach your full creative potential without any outside meddling. On top of all of that, you keep 100% of the royalties you make, all for only $20 a year. And since DistroKid is sponsoring this video, you can get 7% off that first year with my VIP link down below. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for DistroKid and enjoy the satisfaction of knowing you did all of this yourself. For this style of color base, I'm going to use the vocoder. I know there's people who say, oh, use Resonator. I like the vocoder, sounds better to me. And it's way easier to input chord changes just by using MIDI instead of automating every single knob. So if you've seen my Skrillex vocal chop video, you know what we about to do. Step two, vocode it. First, we're gonna make a new MIDI track by holding control, shift, and pushing T, command, if you're a Mac user. And I've named it Carrier. Using Ableton's very own wavetable, I've created a Carrier preset. It's basically two oscillators, both of them on basic shapes. These are where the wavetable positions are. First one is a bit of a sine wave. Second one is somewhere in between a triangle and a square wave. Setting unison mode to shimmer, voices to five, turning sub on, envelope looking like this. But you don't have to be super exact with this because all we're really aiming for is ringy and resonant sounds that the vocoder will catch. The one thing I'd say to avoid is using detune because then it tends to sound muddy. So that's why I like Wavetable's shimmer setting because it gives you that wideness without being all gross and detuned. No processing, keeping it as clean as possible. Now, if you're looking at my MIDI being all like, yo, those are not chords. How are you playing chords? Because I use my easy chord rack. You don't have to use this. This is just me because I'm being lazy. And all that lets me do is play full chords by just hitting one MIDI note. And these are just playing major seventh chords in C major. So if this is what it looks like through Easy Rack, if I wanted to write them all out as chords, here they are. Feel free to pause, champ. Next up, mute this carrier track, go back to our bass track, and add in a vocoder. Now, group the vocoder into an audio effect rack by right-clicking it, 
and push and group. Parallel process it with the original bass sound by clicking this button here, right clicking and create chain. That gives us two tracks, one with a vocoder, one with just the bass super dry. And on the bass track, I've actually added an EQ cut off some of the lows and highs. But what's more important is we go back to the vocoder, we click enhance. Can you enhance it? Go right. external, audio from carrier. Set bands to 20. And then uh, with the little pencil here, you can draw in the EQ to look a little like this. Goes from sounding like this to this. You have reached your first customizable checkpoint. Too cheesy. Should I just not do that? I'm tired, okay? From here, you can shape the tone to whatever you want it to sound like. Take, for example, this little formant knob. It changes the overall tone. You can adjust how much you want the original bass sound to push through with this volume slider. Or adjust the release. And I'll be honest, this sounds pretty good already, but it's not what you came here for. You came here to make it moist. For that, we need... I want to shout out Dank Sauce for a lot of these techniques I'm about to show you. Go watch their content as well. And for Sparkle Rack, it's as simple as sampling some water. So go on YouTube or Splice and find some. Or just take a shower for once and sample that. Either way, you can take our base pattern that we made, copy and paste it onto the sparkle rack. Grab your sample and uh, plop it into a simpler. Set it to classic mode. And uh, if you don't like how the pitch sounds of your water, you can use the pitch MIDI effect to switch it up. Too much! Okay, that's good. You could also just up the octaves in the piano roll. But you know, it's your life. Do what you want. I'm stalling, we need to continue on. Next, control or command F to open up the Ableton search bar, type in LFO. Drag it in, click map, and click the number under start. And you'll start to see it go crazy. Make sure rate is set to Hertz. Set the shape to random. And then start turning up the rates until the water sounds random. Just like it says. Another customizable checkpoint! Duh. Are we done with this yet? I'm gonna adjust the right here to make it more crazy. Adjust the end point here to pick a different voice of the sample. Adjust fade if you want it to be more choppy. Add more transients, you know? Pitch. You can do the tone. Remember to do this while the other sounds are playing so you hear everything in context. As for processing, EQing out the lows, and as you can hear, it's starting to come together. It's starting to add a lot of texture, but it's missing a crucial element that helps juice up that melodic aspect of it. Control F, once again, typing in basic bell into the same instrument rack that we put our water on. This way we keep the same MIDI settings without having to make an entirely new track. But if you want to do that, if you want to make a brand new MIDI track and put the bell on it and be one of those hundred track in your project file people, go right ahead, I'm not stopping you. This way I can actually use my easy rack, same chords so that they match the carrier. Which is another nice layer, but we want to add a bit more movement to it. So add arpeggiator and another LFO. I'm going to set the arpeggiator style to random. Click on sync to change it to free. On LFO, click map and then click on the rate. Set the value from 0 to 32%. Once again, set it to random. And don't forget to switch it to Hertz. Layer your water sample back in, and then adjust the volume till they sound good together. I also added a bonus little erosion on the bells to give it a nice extra sparkle. Outside of the giant instrument rack, put in an EQ to cut out the lows and the highs, along with another wombo combo to keep it thick. Without them, and with them, Uh, customizable check yeah. Just uh, 
play around with all the knobs on the bell for different tones. Gonna adjust the erosion. Or play with the LFO to make it sound even more crazy. You could even use a different sound instead of this bell here. You don't even have to use bells. Finally, we want to group everything all together. So control G on that and you should get it all into a group here. Double click the group and we're going to make yet another audio effect rack. That's right. The so first thing we're going to put on grain delay, right click, create chain to have your dry track. So we're parallel processing everything. Copy over these settings and an EQ8. EQing out the lows. Gonna mix it in real nice. As for a bonus effect, right click, make another chain and use the Sound Toys plugin crystallizer and set it to the high low sprinkles setting. That's found in echo pitch over here. Make sure that mix is all the way wet. Turn that on. It's not necessary, but if you got it, fantastic. Add utility on to the group and automate the gain to add some pauses throughout the drop because the sparkle rack and the bells, they tend to bleed into each other very much. Doing this type of automation just helps keep it tight based on whatever arrangement you decide to do. Like listen without. <laughs> And then with all of that set up, all you need now is a nice fat sub. Some drums. And if you made it this far, you're a legend. What's your favorite style of making color base? Do you like vocoders? Do you like resonators? Let me know. If there's any other artists you want me to break down, you can comment them below. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers next year. So like and subscribe if you learned something. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video so that I hit the goal. But you know what? I don't want to be cringe. I don't want to ask you to subscribe without even seeing the video. Well, obviously I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers next year. <laughs> Or you can also subscribe on Patreon. That's right, your boy needs to eat. You know the drill, there's project file serum presets, tutorials, but enough of that. All together, sounds like this. Now go make some bangers. my cat you know as soon as i set up the camera she literally came up jumped up onto the bed and just laid there my cat knows when i'm filming or i'm streaming <laughs>